Media. Some lips. And Drew Cuomo, aka Hashtag Cock Job, gives criminals and felons voting rights? Well, that's not shocking at all, since all he does is suck Chuck the donkey fucking Cuck Schumer's dick for a living, looking like a constipated dick face, taking a boo in the loo while beating himself off to Mr. Sotero! Ah! What a fucking dumbass he is, right? I mean, can, can somebody fucking order. I mean, I don't know. Can, I don't, I don't understand the stupidity of some people. Their stupidity levels are just so low, you, you can't even measure them on the fucking scale. I mean, the fucking retard meter is off the charts. You know, James Woods, that's actually an excellent question. Why the hell are American citizens forced to pay taxes benefiting illegals, and still forced to pay for Obamacare? I mean, God, man. California's become a real-life Dante's Inferno, and it's such a shithole, you might even say it's gone full-blown Nazi Germany up in this bitch. I mean, God, man. <laughs> How stupid does one have to be? <laughs> oh, I love this shit, man. Holy crap. <laughs> Can somebody get SEAL Team 6 to shoot Jerry Brown in the head already like they did with fucking Osama Bin Laden in 2011? Jesus Christ! I mean, come on. There's just no fucking way people can be this stupid. And here's a post from my friend Dorcas L. from Twitter. Yeah, okay, left awards this week. Jamel Hill fired racist big mouth. Journalist of the Year. Hillary Clinton, criminal and suspected murderer and Ponzi schemer, impact on society. Stormy Daniels, sleeps with people for money on camera, city key. Can Democrats, I mean socialists, sink any lore? And just think, last week, Hamas, Iran, and MS-13 made the headlines and Democrats couldn't stop praising him. I guess I should just call them socialists now, because that's what they fucking are, socialists. They're the lowest fucking form of life you've ever seen in your life. And you should never fucking vote for them. Ever. Don't vote for them. Vote red. Period. End of story. Bottom fucking line. If you vote blue, you're a fucking dumbass. So the day goes to Sadiq Suk Sadiq Khan. Kill the music now. Seriously, man. This guy is a Muslim who's also the mayor of London, England, and has literally turned the place into an actual shithole. I mean, fucking look. Look at what he's done. He has imprisoned a perfectly reasonable journalist named Tommy Johnson, the same thing as he's done to all these journalists, these right journalists, because they're right about everything and they know they are, and they're not afraid to admit it, but he arrests these people for no good reason whatsoever, just because they're not Muslim supporting ISIS members. I mean, go figure, huh? I mean, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking joke this is. Sadiq, why don't you go move in favor and suck Barack Obama's dick? Will ya? Fucking suck his dick, cause that's all you do that. OH MY GOD! Look, this is every Democrat in a nutshell. <laughs> it's time to stop! And of course, my friends JJ Truth and Trump Go For Life made this post about professional asshole John Kasich, who by the way is a rhino and doesn't deserve to be called a Republican. He deserves to be called a Satanist. By the way, 
let's just let's read this post together. This rhino traitor to the party might become a real ass ache in 2018 just to stick at the real Donald Trump. Kasich sucks! Yeah, I agree with you, Trump Goal for Life. Kasich does suck. He also sucks donkey dick. I mean, he might as well be a Democrat because him being a fucking Republican doesn't make sense to me. It would make more sense if he was a socialist. By the way, why the hell did he get into the Republican Party anyway? Just to sabotage them? I don't know. Yeah! So, my president, real Donald Trump, who by the way is the real President 44, because technically Barack Obama never counted anyway. Who gives a fuck about Barack? Fuck him. Fuck him right in the ass. Anyway, Donald John Trump posted this tweet regarding the fact that Kim Jong-un apparently has pretty much relegated back to his old ways because we all know that Kim Jong-un is bullshit and nobody gives a fuck, but I do. Meanwhile, Donald John Trump posted this tweet. Sadly, I was forced to cancel the summit meeting in Singapore with Kim Jong-un. And that's actually quite reasonable considering the fact that Kim Jong-un fell back into his old tricks again. Which reminds me of that CM Punk promo on Jeff Hardy. You lose to me, you fall back into your vices. You lose to me, you fall back into your vices. You will lose to me, and you will fall back into your vices. Those words have never rang more true then as they do right now. And they've only continued to ring even more so in the years leading up to now and will continue ringing ever more true moving forward. And my man Wayne Dupree came up with this tweet and this is what it says. President Trump pardons late heavyweight champion Jack Johnson. McCain begged Obama to do this and was refused. So, McCain asked Obama and begged and pleaded with him to pardon Johnson, and he refused. Now the Arizona senator, who's basically going to die, by the way, because he has brain cancer, and he's a liberalist, he's a selective retarded liberalist, will go to his grave knowing his enemy, Donald John Trump, filled that request. I mean, is it really a fucking shock? By the way, my, my friend Philip Schuler came up with this question for the Democratic Party. Democrats, why did you give Obama the Nobel Peace Prize? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, wait a minute, I know why, and I'm not even a Democrat. Because they're in league with Satan. Because they Heil Hitler. By the way, not to discredit progressive or anything that they've done, but why the hell do people buy this blow shit? I don't fucking understand it. And that's no disrespect to her. Of course I respect her. I respect her just like I do anybody else and anything else. But let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you. Every fucking day we have to see her mug on the fucking TV, on our screens, on our fucking YouTube channel, on our social media, on our radio, all that shit. Haven't you had enough of her yet? Seriously? Have you not had enough of her yet? Because if you haven't, then believe me, you're delusional. And I don't know, I don't know why Progressive continues to push for this crowd. I mean, seriously. She's an actor! She's not a real Progressive employee! She's an actor! An actor! And oh my god, what a surprise! Her real name is Stephanie Courtney! Oh, shocker! Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bush, you're in very shitty company right now, according to my good friend, Paul F. Mariano. By the way, nice job on the inside job that you orchestrated along with your family. Good job, seriously. Nice work. By the way, you're so blood deep in shit right now that you have no absolute shred of an idea how big your bottomless pit of shit really is. As a matter of fact, despite knowing about it for all your life, as did every democratic president before you, 
you still have no shred of evidence to prove that you're not deep in that shithole. By the way, it makes perfect sense considering how deep you're in it, and considering the fact that you've always been in it from the very start of your life. And that makes perfect sense too, doesn't it? Kind of ironic. Also, top Iranian official John Kerry from my friend Houston Welder, also known by his Twitter name, Get Out and Vote, has been caught chanting death to America. Very, 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 very ironic. And definitely not much of a surprise there, considering you all knew about it a long past a fucking time ago. Which, in turn, makes it all very much look like a bunch of BAD NEWS! I'm afraid I've got some more bad... Okay, it works. Great Apparently, a few royal guard officers have been ousted from their positions, and all because they don't follow Muslim Islamic radical terrorists, because they don't believe in Muhammad and Akbar. Sounds like Canada's just shot their own battleship with their Bavarian Illuminati Satan warship. You're all fired because you don't believe in Mohammed and Akbar. And now who are fired, motherfucker? For firing a few of your loyal police from your royal guard and mountain police. Seriously, if you honestly want me to believe that, such fucking bullshit. By the way, Canada has officially become a shithole thanks to Muslim worshippers like Justin Trudeau. Not that I need to mention him, but of course he takes all the credit for being the Barack Obama of Canada. Ironic, isn't it? Somebody touch a spaghetti! Finger up the butts, courtesy of him. I don't know if that's what it stands for, but the hell with it. So, Maryland police officer's death ignites a racial firestorm. Yes, that's right, because racism will never die, because as long as there are racists, there will never be an end to racism. Believe me, I know quite a few of them. And I don't even judge people by their covers, I just know what they're up to. Because I can know that stuff, because God allows me to know. By the way, in the U.S., officials worry that lava will block Hawaii escape routes. Why the hell should officials be worried about the lava that's spewing all over Hawaii when the state is run by a bunch of donkey, democrat, dick-sucking jackasses? It's so obvious, man. Oh, in other news, George H.W. is making for the hospital because he's old as fuck. Let's just say that. He's bound to die soon. It's only a matter of time. Meanwhile... Why the hell should anybody care about the NBA? It's overplayed players, or I should say overpaid in this case. They get paid millions of dollars every year to play 60 minute games that some of them probably don't even finish anyway, right? An hour's worth of work for about what? 300, 400, 500,000 dollars a night? You kidding me? That's more than Brock Lesnar makes. And he appears on Raw, and every time he appears on Raw, he makes a half million bucks. So, yeah. You're making more money than Brock Lesnar, and you're an nba -er or an nfl -er, or you work at the NBO, or whatever the fuck, or MLB, or whatever the hell it's called. If you're a professional sporter, and you make more money than Brock Lesnar, there's something seriously fucking wrong with you and you need to look for another line of work because you're getting paid too much. Seriously. By the way, this, this site, it's like eBay, but everything sells in 90 seconds. Who gives a fuck? 
cares? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Meanwhile, let's, let's look at all this other shit. They died on brutal day. Now the book in the uh, Vietnam the war. Nah, don't trust anything in Washington Post and say they're always full of shit. And let me, let me, let me, let's let's see what we got here. Adam the shithead Schiff. Throw the bombs out of Congress. Who the fuck cares about this shit? Go die in a hole. Seriously. So the Star Wars story takes in 101 mil for the holiday weekend! Nobody fucking cares. The only reason why so many people pay to buy into that shit is because it's George Lucas's shining and frowning achievement. Something that took him his entire life to work on. By the way, that's the only reason why anyone comes to see his work in a theater if it's premiering live. I mean, come on. Seriously. Give me a break. I'm my big dum dum shooting bullets out of my dum dum. Now me want gum gum so I can go jump jump, motherfucker. Damn it, you got me for stop. Please register me. Now I gonna beat the crap out of. Resuming the topic of overpaid sports players, this red pitcher is pissed off about a demotion. Those are his words, not mine. By the way. Why in the hell are you so pissed off? You get paid all this money to play a game of baseball, and you're pissed off because you get demoted? Come on, man. And I've got nothing against you, man. I think you're a great baseball player, but you shouldn't be complaining about a demotion. Seriously. By the way, LGBT issues loom as justices Stressed out all the time. We don't give a fuck because we age too fast. You know, seriously, it's too much bullshit. Real. I'm just being real with you. Just being real. Oh, oh, by the way, Guy Fieri on his culinary pet peeves and what's next for diners, drive-ins, and dives. Oh, that's the same guy who also needed to win it, right? And it's original run on NBC. Then this guy named Apollo Anton. Oh no! Which, by the way, sucks. Guy Fieri's a great game show host, don't get me wrong, but he's so much better as a culinary commentator and, and TV personality, seriously though, you know, honest to God, I mean, I, I can't even, and, and, and what about, what about Danica Patrick crashing out of the Indianapolis 500, the Indy 500, right, what about her, turns out, she retired after this race, so it all comes together, because when you're in a sport like that, the risk of you dying is actually surprisingly high considering all the people you're racing against, and that's not just in the Indy 500 in general, that's in all sports car races, regardless of Formula 1, NASCAR, any of any of Meanwhile, even toddlers know that their parents are shit. Because you know, you know how Judge Judy said that that if you're going to have a kid, you should have an IQ test or some other kind of psychological exam in order to make sure that you can have one without raising it to be a complete dumbass. Yeah, Judge Judy's words regarding that ring true even today. And it's become even more so from the very moment in which she said that some time ago. I'm sure it's on YouTube right now if you want to take a look at it. By the way, MSN has a lot of interesting stuff on their website. You should check it out. Wow! Are you fucking kidding me? How many moments do you two get? Honestly! You know, in life! Hey, I have a question!
Why aren't I 50 points ahead? Dick face, douchebag, democratic, dummy, diary, school, dictator like thing with a donkey who's down with the devil and drags us in the dirt. Also, you're a dipshit and you don't give a fuck about anyone else but yourself. Which says a lot, doesn't it? You fuck. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I will show nothing! You loser! It's all out of there! Does every Democrat in that show a masturbate to Adam Weishaupt and have sex with Barack Obama all damn day? Because all they want to do is like I mean, you know, because because I'm not I'm not a jackass. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't. I don't hit none. I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. I stand with God, and more importantly, I'm a pro-Trumper for life. So that's just how I am. That's how I roll. I mean, seriously, man, you fucking kidding me? Why wouldn't I be a Trump supporter? Why else didn't I vote for Trump in 2016? Because I knew he was the only candidate. He wasn't just a candidate, he was the only candidate. Hillary Clinton, you never had a campaign. Hillary Clinton, you suck as a human being. And you ought to get the death penalty for what you tried to do against us all. So, yeah, there you go, man. It's all right there, black and fucking white. And you're a jackass because you don't know jack shit. You're selectively retarded. I'm a big dum dum, shooting bullets out of my dum dum. Now me want gum gum, so I can go jump jump, motherfucker. Wow! This week's winner of the special snowflake award is drum roll. On second thought, fuck the drum roll. James the Popper Clapper. All week long, he lied and cried, and he ended up. Bitching and whining and complaining and fussing and throwing a tantrum and bitching 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 about the mainstream media painting him in a negative light. What the fuck? What did you expect, Mr. Clapper? Seriously, you fucking kidding me? This is why I hate democracy. Because of bullshit like him. Living, breathing, walking sacks of bullshit. Like James the Fapper Clapper. And you know what? As a matter of fact, hell, I am going to retweet this. Because he absolutely deserves it. Yeah. The sad fuck. Because he deserves what's coming to him. Let me tell you. And and, and, and and let me let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. This this guy can you imagine? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what a fucking dumbass. Oh you fucking kidding me. Jesus. Ah, Jesus! Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking idiot! I mean, seriously, this this is why I love to bash liberals. Seriously, this is why I love bashing liberals. <laughs> oh my God! Minnesota nice means passive aggressive. Not so here. Johnson is that rare Republican, even rarer in the land of ten thousand lakes who blends genuine wholesomeness with plain, direct speech. Hey, we finally got some good news! Yay! <laughs> oh, this, this guy is a saint. He really is. We need more people like him. I mean, I wish, though. I mean, it's just, there are not many people like him that come. And too many that go, I mean, seriously. We need more people like him, because there sure as hell aren't enough.
Legit, man. Fucking lit. But the liberal has been brought to you by God Almighty, otherwise known by some people as Jehovah, and by his son, Jesus Christ, who he gave up on a cross in the year 33 or so A.D. Who would have thought that so much time later wouldn't be paying for it, huh? And it's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is made possible by suckers like you. Thanks, you. gets a high paying job in CNN. In what universe is NBC and CNN not under investigation for possibly bribing government officials? When were they offered the job? When were their salaries negotiated? And was it before the dossier leak? But in what universe are the Nihilist Bullshitters Corporation and the Clinton Necrophilia Network not under investigation? from last year. It's also down 34% amongst adults aged 18 to 49, which is the demographic most coveted by prime time advertisers. So why won't TBS cancel their show? Because they don't care about ratings. They care about their agenda!
President Donald John Trump pardoned him because he knew, just like we know, that Dinesh D'Souza being convicted of campaign finance fraud was obviously bullshit from the beginning. No, it wasn't. Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. My friend Israel USA forever at Israel USA forever. Retweet if you agree that Michelle Obama. was the worst first lady, not only in American history, but in the history of all humankind. Fuck you! That's what all the Dems be like. so damn funny. In fact, I even made a short 32 second rap about it by compiling certain second long slimmed down versions of memes that I made and finding one big ass meme. Shut that shit out, motherfucker, because you're going to be Bro, let me ask you something. Have you lost your fucking mind? Millennials. Fucking useless. Idiots. Bro, let me ask you something. Have you lost your fucking mind? Bro, 
<laughs> Fucking useless. Millennials. <laughs> Fucking <the> mind. <laughs> Idiots. My friend Tracy at Lil Bully 1031 says, So, we have our granddaughter over for a few days. Our first, so we haven't watched cartoons in a while. We turn on Amazon for the classics that we ourselves watched as children. And this disclaimer pops up. We believe that the crap on TV today is far worse. Do you agree? Absolutely, yeah. there's no question. Exactly. I mean, even a 70 year old person like myself knows that the cartoons back then were tame compared to the cartoons of now. So it's pretty obvious, right? But meanwhile, my friend Chuck Galesto at Chuck Galesto says that the Supreme Court sides with a baker who needs to make a wedding date for a same sex couple. Which is basically what I said earlier as regarded to a previous tweet. Meanwhile, my friend. Chuck Woolery says, a five-year-old kid's legal battle for the right to make a cake or not is a clear example of why we Let's go to Cambridge, Massachusetts for another round of Retard University. Because obviously calling them Harvard is too good enough for them. And with good reason. Dr. Abi Dumas. So I can go jump jump. You got your masters of bullshit. My friend BDX Mike Bivens at It's Mike Bivens. Cutched this breaking story. That man whose face was busted open when I got here, he says, was wearing a Rashid Wallace jersey. Right? He also says, anti fashion came out on top in that last exchange. Of course they did. I just got here to the rally and protest this summer. Uh, sorry. Hashtag Facebook. He also says, some guy just shouted out, THE NAZIS ARE LOSING! Yeah, right, they are. But the Nazis. Pepper spray was deployed. Cops start pushing back. The milk jug is thrown. And this, that, and the other. What well, uh, the fuck else? I don't care. Does it look like I care? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Do I give a shit at this point? Do I fucking care? From what I observed, he says, a black clad protester was seen attempting to produce something from a backpack and police pounced. Unclear if this is an arrest. Of course it's an arrest! No shit! No shit! This man was arrested by DHS police and taken into the federal building shouting, I'm compliant. Yeah. Another wild brawl at 5th by City Hall. This stuff is crazy. Violent as all hell. Let's pay tribute to our latest dumbass. Introducing David the Fucktard Hog. He's an ass kisser, a little bit of pisser. But most importantly, he 
use a pistol. <laughs> This guy is a pisser. Pisser! And you say pisser? Pisser! But that, unfortunately, is not the worst of it. The worst of it is that he's a fucking pisser! Laugh at his ass, huh? You're a pisser, buddy. You're a pisser, 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 and an ass pisser. Can somebody behead this fuck? <laughs> So, Grand Poobah Jackass, Jerry Moonbeam Brown, Governor of California, illegally signed a law that prohibits you from taking a shower and doing laundry on the same day, with a $1,000 per day fine if you go above your bill on it. 55 gallons of daily water usage. Utility companies are encouraged to spy on you to ensure compliance. You fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, check this out. Check this out. You're never gonna believe this. You're never gonna believe this. This is her current line. So the monkey is Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Talk about getting owned. Donald Trump style. Opa Trump style. has been pardoned by President Donald John Trump and says that he's suing James Comey and Barack Obama. Buddy, you're absolutely right for thinking that, but you're not so right for thinking that it's going to work. Sir, do you realize how much obstruction Comey and Barack Obama are going to cause on their own. They're going to make sure that you don't win, buddy. But, but yeah, in all seriousness, though, do go ahead and sue them. Because they deserve to be sued to high hell. Not just by you, but the entire world population. No amount of money can suffice what they did to you, buddy. You know what they deserve? to be publicly hung from the rafters or a gallows bowl because they absolutely Attorney Jackass Jim Jeff Mr. Magoo Sessions announced 311 Are you fucking kidding me? So, Jeff Sessions willingly and shamelessly kisses the ass of Barack Obama, even though he's been out of office for over 18 months now. I don't get it. I don't know what your deal is, Jeff Sessions, but your deal ain't working because it's shit. Your deal is shit, Mr. Sessions. Fuck off to a nursing home or kill yourself. That's the only way you're gonna get out of this. Your friend and mine, Gay Gallops, at Gay underscore Gallops, says that the Democrats are at war with each other and have no message whatsoever. No message. They have no election agenda. Have no campaign because of these two douchebag fucks right over here. Chuck the fucking cuck Schumer and Nancy Mamby Pamby Pelosi.
the ass kisser of Barack and Michelle Obama, who secretly masturbates to Andrew Jackson every night in her sleep while having sex with Chuck the fucking cuck shoot. By the way, what I said about Nancy and Chuck having sex with each other, that's just speculation, okay? Seriously. I mean, make what you want of it, but it's not gonna mean shit. No, it's not gonna mean shit. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But anyway, forget that. No strategy by Democrat politicians. Facilitates Republican wins. Blue is officially turning blood red. Let's paint the town red, people. Let's paint the town red like there's no bastard tomorrow. Let's paint the fucking town red. It's time. Nissan is selling his bullshit, don't buy into it. Alright? Seriously. Don't buy into their crap. It's time to stop! Now I could have beat Democrats be like, ah, fuck you! Idiots. I'd like to share with you all a great big ass compilation of law moments directed specifically against liberals. So if you find them too cringe for your taste, get the hell off my channel and go jack off to Justin D. No, look at this guy. <laughs> he told me I was wrong and to check my facts. Then he provided me a link to CNN. Oh, <laughs> it's hilarious, man. I'm not gonna believe a word that fucker says. This guy's full of shit. This just in Donald John Trump. Just got caught with a hooker. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that's not Donald Trump? Wait, never mind. That's Bill Clinton. I misinformed you all. I'm sorry. Just forgive me for that. I mean, I just pulled a Piers Morgan in front of you all. Just forgive me. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. On second thought, no, I'm not sorry because you already fucking knew that was Bill Clinton before you looked at this picture. Please won't you be my neighbor. Good morning, boys and girls. Did you just discern their titties? Well, yes I did, actually. Why? Because I don't give a fuck, that's why. Now, are you going to be my neighbor? Or do I have to take out my AK-47 and wipe your fucking ass all over it? Huh? Huh? I don't care, just- Shut up. You don't make any sense. Just fuck off. You're not deserving enough to be my neighbor. Seriously, because... I mean, if you really think about it, I'm just gonna have to kill you now. Pay your attention over to this liptard jackoff over here. He sent you a CNN link, as in corporate necrophilia nihilism. Not the Clinton News Network, obviously, but still. And yet he uses Bible verses. Bible verses to justify his facts. And why? Because the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Bullshit! Oh my god, it's the Statue of Liberty! Ah! I gotta call the ambulance! I gotta just sick my brain one time! <laughs> Next time on Liberals or Not. No, I'm just kidding. The next time you feel stupid, uninformed, brainwashed, or mind bleached, 
or just plain old fucked in the ass anyway. Just remember, these are the people for whom people just like you who fall for their liberal bullshit get your news from. But you don't have to get your news from them anymore. You can just vote red and join the red tsunami 2018, 2020, 2024, 2022, 2026, or so on. And stop falling for this shit. Hey, man. <laughs> Damn. You want to know what my favorite part of the 2016 elections are? Man, man, you ain't gonna believe this. Crying fake ass damn liberals. Cause they don't know that donkey's dick from the asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Cause they're just a bunch of libbies. Cause they don't give a shit about nobody. Cause they're fucking stupid. Hey! I can have an abortion. It's my body. False. It's the baby's body. By the way, if it were your body, you'd be the one who dies. Not the baby. Well, I don't give a shit. I still want an abortion. Too late. You can't have one. It's already set in stone. It's legalized, man. It's illegal to have an abortion. This is Ahmed the dead terrorist. No, he's not Ahmed the dead terrorist. He's just called Ahmed. Well, it would be more fitting if he was called Ahmed the dead terrorist. Shut up. Anyway, this is Ahmed. He was born in Sweden. So, of course, according to any liberal ever, he would be Swedish. Knowing good and damn well that he was of terrorist descent. This is Pip. He was born in a stable, and according to every single Nazi by Democrat ever, he is a horse now. I mean, not that it makes any sense, but it gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody really needs to know that shit. Hey, look, son. Another lib dog with an impeached Trump fantasy. Really? That's a lib dog? What's a conservative? I am. You better listen to me before you listen to anybody else. Okay, I'll listen to you. Cause you know I have a lot more than they do. Of course, son. Now go out there and play on that playground over there, whatever the hell that thing is. I don't even know what to call it anymore because things change too much. I mean, this isn't the 1950s anymore, but still. You got it! That's it for this episode of Sport Bully War. Oh my god! Jesus Christ. Ha! Check this out, man. Democrats are so pissed off that their golden bitch Hillary Clinton did not win the 2016 election. So you know what they do? They ask Jacob Greenberg, aka his pseudonym Mark Zuckerberg, what you didn't notice, you didn't he was Jacob Greenberg. The same guy who's the grandson of David Rockefeller! And anyway, they collude with Mark Zuckerberg and Jackass Horsey and all the people who usurp political rights on social media to silence anyone that supports the Republican Party and the entirety of the Republican Party itself when really all they're really doing they're not silencing them no they're shadow banning them oh oh god no don't shadow ban me oh And the Democrats still, two years after the fact, have no 
idea whatsoever as to why Hillary lost the 2016 election to Donald Trump. So they promote Agenda 21 and get on the propaganda background of Russia, Russia, Russia. God, man. Honest to freaking God. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you a few more things. Okay, okay, check this shit out. Check this out. Here is the thing. So Anne Hathaway comes up with a joke about how people like my fellow friend on Twitter, LA Tiffany One, says that, I mean, Anne Hathaway accused people like her of living in fear daily. This is what she has to say. Dear Anne Hathaway, I do not live in fear daily. Stop speaking for me. I don't need you or your out of touch, lip-tarded Hollywood grandiloquent pals pontificating with a savior complex to save me. You want to save something? Save your career. Girl, bye. It's just that fucking simple. We are not victims! We got this! Exactly. Exactly. Time to put it home, man! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, we're the Sanctuary City, yay! Yeah, you dumbass Philadelphia mayor. And it's also a shithole city, too. By the way, your entire state is also a shithole state. Thanks to stank ass pieces of crap like you. Huh? Now get this. Get this. Maxine Waters threatens to reverse Trump's tax scam if Democrats win Congress. Oh, we already know that's gonna happen. If the Democrats win, which they will never win, even in hell. Their golden boy Hillary lost to an illegal immigrant named Barry Sotaro, also known by his much more popular pseudonym Barack Hussein Obama II, in a 2008 Democratic presidential primary. She lost the popular vote. She won the popular vote. She lost the electoral count. Same thing happened in 2016 with the general presidential election against Donald Trump. She won the popular vote because she got countless swabs of retarded, lifeless fuckheads to vote for her stupid ass. But the Electoral College said, you know what, you people are not capable of voting for the right people in Congress, so we're going to override your vote elect Donald Trump to be the President of the United States because Hillary Clinton and her entire family are full of Ponzi schemers and con artists. And you wanted to elect a con artist and a molestation sympathizer to the presidency. Fuck you all. 66 million people voted for this dumb broad! And believe me, you know I'm not making this up, so don't you dare deny it! You stupid cunt! Oh my god, man. If you people had any idea as to why Hillary Clinton lost... By the way, 
the idea has been under your noses the whole time. And you don't give a shit! Walk the hell away from Democrats! Now! It's absolutely justifiable at this point. In fact, it's encouraged! And don't just walk away from Democrats. Run the hell away as fast as you fucking can. And now let's move on to something completely related, but totally unrelated at the same time. Huh? How about that? <laughs> years old says that she wants to be on the Supreme Court for another five years. Well, in five years, it'll be my grandmother's current age of 90, and you'll probably have a pretty bad case of dementia. And my grandmother and her case of dementia pales in comparison to the one that you're going to suffer from. Believe you me. And I'm not just whistling Dixie! I wish I wasn't Dixie! Hooray! Hooray! I mean, fuck. What did you expect me to say? Huh? What did you expect me to say? Alright, let's take a look at some shake. Okay, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, 85 years old, a staunchy, raunchy liberal, and an overriding piece of crap. According to my friend Michael S. Motes, something is about to blow up. Absolutely! It's already blowing up now! The fuck you mean? <laughs> Look at this shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is the third day? Do you need to do do? You let it do! Yay! You melt your yay! 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 Ah, what about Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Oh, let's get a little bit more on Ruth Bader. On Ruth Bader. Darth Vader. That's what I'll call her now. Ruth Vader. Darth Vader. Uh, fuck. Ruth Master Vader. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, this is just so much fucking cringe. Oh, my God. Oh, I love shitting on liberals all day and damn night. Holy crap. Groove Bader? Okay, you know what? Look into this fucking shit. I cannot fan group Bader Ginsburg anywhere. So, I'm gonna do the next best thing. I'm going to look her Twitter up. That's right, I'm gonna look her Twitter up. Ruth Darth Bader Ginsburg suggests that she has at least five more years on the Supreme Court. She says she's gonna work until she's 90. Well, of course I would too if I got paid $222,500 a year and took naps all day. I might as well be in goddamn kindergarten by this fucking point. Oh my god, it is. Ah! You waking up yet? Wake your ass up! Okay. Ruth Bastard Darth Vader Ginsburg. Guess what I'm gonna do here, yeah? I'm gonna block the bastard account. That's right. I'm gonna block it! 
lost like a black cock. Ah! Look! Ah, yummy. It is what I'm talking about. I. <laughs> you, you are not going to believe what she said about the whole damn national anthem kneeling thing. I mean, here's the thing. Here is the thing. She said about those who kneel for the national anthem. Kneeling for the national anthem is dumb and disrespectful. I think it's a terrible thing to do. I would point out how ridiculous it seems to me to do such an act. So if they want to be stupid, there's no law that should be prevented. Well, I disagree with you, Justice Ruth Bader. Honest to God, I can tell you without any doubt in my mind that there should be a law for professional athletes getting paid millions and millions of dollars out of the taxpayer's pocket kneeling during the anthem. That should be illegal. It should be a felony. Have you not figured that out yet? What the fuck is wrong with you, woman? I swear to God. I don't even care anymore. I don't. I'm, I'm just... You know, I don't care anymore. You know, you know, that that's what all these fucks want to do. They want to just let these Colin Capper dicks kneel during the anthem with their dicks hanging out, with tattoos all over their dicks, spelling out the word ISIS in the air, jacking off to Barack Hussein Obama and his transgender wife. What, you didn't know she was a man before she became a woman? You didn't know she was Big Mike before she became Michelle? Then you're just as much a part of the problem as they are, my friend. Now let me tell you now, man. This shit's only getting started. Let me tell you something, people. You are not capable of voting for the right people. If you were, you wouldn't have voted in Obama twice, you wouldn't have voted for Bush, you wouldn't have voted for Bill Clinton, you wouldn't have voted for his scumbag piece of shite wife, and you certainly wouldn't have voted for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the shithead who came from the shithole that is Mexico. Avocados from Mexico! I just thought I'd point that out. And and by the way, by the way, I don't I don't know that you guys know this or not, but the same people you're voting for are your employees. The people you elect to Congress are your employees. They work for you. You don't work for them. Have you people not figured that out yet? It's like you want me to get a goddamn heart attack. What the hell? Okay, let's just, let's move on to something else. Well, uh, look, you big, big, about this world that no one else will ever uncover because they're too deep up Rossell's dickhole.
it on the side. Now, since election day, the Dow has been up close to 40%. S&P 500, Standard & Poor's for short, up 33%. Nasdaq up 53%. Russell 2000 up 41%. That means we're winning! Winning! Not that it means anything, but whatever. Right? Now I know that you people are too retarded to see that, so I'll just explain it in a way that even you can understand. The reason why the economy's been booming is because of Donald John Trump, the greatest president in American history. It makes you wonder what kind of donkey dick the other four presidents before them have been sucking and fucking. Because at this point, I would say that 28 years of failures have been easily negated by Donald John Trump's effective presidential abilities, which were instilled in him by God himself before he was ever born. Now I need to explain something to you all. You're not going to like it. I'm not going to like it. The fact is, the face of the Democratic Party is a descendant of illegal immigrants who came from shithole countries like Iran and especially Mexico. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The loony look of leftist losers and retards. Are you scared yet? Well, you shouldn't be. By the way, do not just walk away from the Democrats. Run from them as fast as you fucking can before it's too late because you will not get that chance come election day because by that point there is a slight possibility it's virtually non-existent but there's a slight possibility that the Democrats could brainwash you all into electing them to take over the house which will not happen if you don't let them. Here's the thing. I do not give two shits about democracy. I think it is a failure and a stillborn experiment from the get-go. It is an immense failure. Here's the thing. The NFL is in league with democracy. The Koch brothers in league with democracy. ABC, CBS, NBC, all in league with democracy. CNN in league with democracy. Retarded liberals are willing to commit halakiri and cut their stomachs open and spill their goddamn guts out to make sure that an 85-year-old, over-the-hill, senile, liberal, retarded judge named Ruth Bader Ginsburg gets to serve on the bench until she's 90. But I already covered that earlier through my other alternative persona, which is actually far more real than the one I'm speaking to you in now. Not the Dems are running on raising taxes to subsidize their income. If that does not tell you anything, nothing will. The Dems are all about obstruction, they are about retardation of the worst kind, of the selective kind specifically. They will not work for you. They only work for one person, and it's not themselves, it's not the Rothschilds, it's Satan. 
absolute 100% Satan. Return to the song. You're not going to like it, and I'm not either, but it needs to be told. You people are not capable of voting for the right people. That's why Russia did what they did when they let Julian Assange expose the Democratic Party through his many WikiLeaks about Hillary Clinton. If you people were capable of voting in the right people to work for you so that you wouldn't have to work for them and be enslaved by their dumbasses, we would have never had a Barack Obama presidency, we would have never had a Jimmy Carter presidency, we would have never had a Bill Clinton presidency or a George H.W. Bush presidency. Hell, I'll even go as far as to say that Al Gore himself would have made a much better president from 2001 to 2009 than that scumbag, retarded Democrat in Republican skin, George H.W. Bush, or the rest of his dumb family. I say that very lightly and very loosely. Because at this point, any Democrat, any supporter of democracy, any social justice warrior that's in league with democracy does not deserve to be called human. They deserve to be treated like shit. They deserve to be treated like animals. Except the difference between liberals and dogs or cats or chickens or anyone in a farm that's an animal, a legit animal, is that farm animals at least know better than Democrats, who by the way, don't give two shits about you or myself. They only care about one thing. They like to suck the donkey stick, cause it's only gonna be! Let's suck the donkey stick for it, yeah! <laughs> you didn't do! Do you understand? It is so goddamn simple, you just have no idea. I mean, honest to a fucking lord. You vote Republican in the polls this November, or you watch your country turn into a wreck. It is just that easy. I have nothing else to say about that. This episode of Spot the Liberal has been brought to you by Marcher Lord One, a fellow YouTuber, Twitter, wherever the hell he is, and a truth teller who reminds you all to stop letting your dog say to you, you bastard! It's also been sponsored by the Republic Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in almost any part whatsoever by suckers like you! segment where I do something really, really original, so to speak. This is that segment of Spot the Liberal, of course, where I show you that even a smart guy like me can do really dumb things. Case in point, you may recognize this one. Now, now give me a second. Now. 
<laughs> Give me a second. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. Okay. All right, now, now, you you guys are aware of you guys are aware of the cinnamon challenge. Am I right or am I right? Okay. Oh God, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> you know how all these Democrats do really stupid things, right? With their time, like they, they waste their lives doing challenges on YouTube. Well, I'm going to prove to you that every single one of these challenges... <laughs> a complete fucking waste of time. Man, you you already know, right? Okay. Let's eat. <laughs> people, people are you. And by the way, you can do this if you want, but it's only going to get you a lifetime's worth of stupidity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up for it. Mm hmm. See? I just ate a whole spoonful of cinnamon. That's right, people. I am the first person in the 14-year history of YouTube to have succeeded at the Cinnamon Challenge. <laughs> oh, God. I can't, man. See, you people. You people have been doing it wrong the whole time. You're not supposed to put a whole spoonful in your mouth. You're supposed to put a half a spoonful. 
big goddamn difference, isn't it? You stupid, retarded fucks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very eclectic speak for you today. This man is apparently the smartest man in the world, because unlike almost every one of you, he actually listens to God. I don't know if you recognize this guy, I don't know if you've even heard of him or not, but he has social media accounts all over the web. Spreading his wisdom and goodwill to people while speaking the God's honest truth as only he can. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the man, the myth, the legend. Ladies and gentlemen, every millennial liberal's worst nightmare, Kevin the Skull Anderson. Let's give him a hand now. Come on. Let's give him a hand. Because good Lord knows that we need more people like him in our world. Thank you. Please be seated and watch this video until the end. Thank you. tell you what you are. You're a biased goddamn millennial who votes liberal and you are the problem. And if you don't like that, you can suck Jacob Rothschild's dick all day long and get fucked by him. Because personally, I don't give a shit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world, it's the great big pisser parade!
Jesus Christ, the United Nations, was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. <clears throat> no! ah! Dr. Abi Dumas. So I can go jump jump. You got your masters and bullshit.
decision to become a Republican to his death. That could have all been prevented had he not chose to become a politician. Now, now get this. Barack Saddam Hussein, Obama bin Laden, decides to have the gall to release a statement on the passing of John McCain. He talks about how he and McCain grew up in two different generations. Barry, you grew up in a different country. You and McCain grew up in two different countries. about John McCain. Your statement on that admiral is as fake as CNN, as full of shit as a donkey having diarrhea of the mouth, and as fraudulent as your entire political career and your so-called identity. Don't 
actually know because you're not God. I am as I allow you to be. And so is every other God fearing person on the planet who allows God to live through them. You? You? <laughs> You make Andrew Jackson and his Indian Removal Act look like focus in comparison, buddy. And let me tell you this. The reason why I am not reading your statement, and I am not giving you the dishonor and the indignity of showing your statement, Billions of people that will see it. And I say potentially because there's a very strong chance that that's probably happening right now. But the reason why I'm not allowing myself to display in full your type of statement is burying you in dignity. And I respect you a lot. I respect you. But that doesn't automatically mean that I agree with anything you say. I disagree with everything you've ever said. But I respect you. So Barry Satoro, also known as Barack Obama, and I know that that's your pseudonym because your real name is the former and not the latter like you were saying. But Barry, Barack Osama, Bin Laden, Obama, Sotoro, I'm telling you now, when the people get to finally see you arrested and charged with the highest of high treasons, holding the highest office in the land, as an excuse to forward a notified ISIS agenda, the likes of which not even Hitler himself could even try to manage, much less manage on his own. Satan himself will look at you and say, Damn, I've looked stupid before, but I've never looked that stupid. Yes, you are. Very Barack Obama Sotoro. The worst excuse of a human being since Andrew Jackass Jackson. Do you know how bad a person has to to fit that description. And, and by the way, I don't disrespect you. I don't even hate you. But I don't like you either. But I do have the common decency of an actual human being unlike yourself to respect you for what you are. But let it be known the moment you gave away your statement on a man who, quite frankly, even though he might have been a traitor in Vietnam, and he probably was, so I'm not going to rule that out, even though you gave a statement on him, he is everything you wish you could have been, but never were, because you wanted to push a Rothschild, Rockefeller, 
Warburg, Weiss Health, Oculus, and then for what reason? For what reason? What was this one? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Hi, I'm Baldy, and welcome to another episode of Spot Political. How are you? And if you don't learn from what I'm teaching you, I'll fucking kill you! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's get to the fucking news, okay? Alright, now. Florida police. Keep in mind that Florida is a shithole run by Democrats are involved after an encounter between four black students and an armed white man who was trying to prevent them from burglarizing and entering a building. And it went viral. You know what they said about the white man? They said, we really think he was trying to provoke us, cause see, see, we voted for Obama in 2008 and 2016, even though we weren't old enough to vote at the time, but the fucking nothing. You knew not to enter the building, you knew you were full of shit for trying to enter the building, and you wonder why the white man was armed. Oh, by the way, speaking of black people, Barack Obama was only part black. Which further proves that his entire presidency was a fraud. It didn't count. It was nothing more than a sham. It was non-existent. So we didn't have a president for eight years. We had a despot, illegal immigrant, Muslim, Islamic, jihadist, Kenyan from Africa originally, who illegally immigrated here. And 69 and a half million dumbasses were stupid enough to fucking vote for this piece of crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> oh my god. And you know, as of this recording, nearly 2,500 people are reading this right now. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, I should also point out, I should also point out, you know, the NFL, it's going to go bankrupt. Even with all the money that it gets, it's still going to go bankrupt anyway. People are going to stop watching the product. It's only a matter of time. Not that it means anything, but of course it means shit! Right? Yeah. You knew what you were getting into. And, and to the four black men who, who tried to blame it on the white man who was simply preventing them from committing the crime by breaking and entering into the apartment, you guys are stupid as hell. I'm sorry, you guys are just dumb. Go get yourself alive for once. All of you, all four of you black people that were fucking blaming it on the white man. You knew that you were at fault, so you should have been blaming it on yourselves, but like the democratic jackasses that you are, the BLM motherfuckers that you are, you choose instead, oh, he was really trying to provoke at that, man. And, and now that we ain't gonna do nothing wrong, and he had a gun in his hand, racist, 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 bullshit. Absolute bollocks. And I can tell you that with a straight face, and I will win every single time. That's the reality we have to live, people. Welcome to reality. Population truth. Ah! <laughs> Look at that shit! Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, okay, 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 listen, listen. A pink tutu, a ballet garment, has become the focus of a critical race for a United States Senate seat in Arizona. Since Martha McSally won the Republican primary for the United States Senate seat in Arizona at the end of August, she has charged out of the gate with a clear attack on Democratic, Nazi, fascist, socialist jackass, Kirsten Cinema. How fitting is that name, Cinema? They can't even, her parents couldn't even spell cinema right, so they mistaken the word cinema as having an S in it when it obviously has a C. Also, her last name literally implies that she is full of sin. McSally, an Air Force veteran who was the first woman to fly a fighter jet in combat, aired a television commercial that touted her own military service after the 9-11 attacks and mocked cinema for taking part in an anti-war protest while wearing a pink ballet garment, according to McSally. And, you know, McSally is absolutely right, because that's exactly what it was. It was, a, it was a ballet garment. It was a tutu. Meanwhile, there is a user on Facebook called Keeping It Real that says, I think voting for a person who has life experience has been challenged to make hard decisions, has proven ability to lead, and so on. Bob says, I just like seeing the words independent mind and centrist used to describe someone who is realistically running for office in an election like this. Of course, who would be? While we were in harm's way in uniform, Christian Cinema was protesting us in a pink tutu and denigrating our service, McSally said in the ad, which has been knocked by fact checkers as misleading. Now, are the fact checkers really fact checkers or are they just frauds? Are they just parrots of Rothschild and Rockefeller? Cinema a 42-year-old congresswoman is running as an independently-minded centrist and rarely mentions that she is a Democrat when, in fact, she is a Democrat and a huge jackass. McSally, a 52-year-old congresswoman, is intent on reminding Arizona voters of cinema's hard-left past. Cinema who's been in Congress since 2013, was an anti-war and Green Party activist nearly 20 years ago, but is now a jackass who touts her willingness to work with Republicans, even though we all know she's not John F. Kennedy, and she's a hell of a lot more like Nancy Pelosi than she ever was John F. Kennedy. And by the way, John F. Kennedy, you know, he was the greatest, the greatest non-Republican president of any country in human history. There will never be another one like him. You know why? Because the entirety of the Democratic Party are full of complete, mindless jackasses. And that's why. So if you never needed to know why, that's why. Notice how I parodied Simon Miller. I mean, I like Simon Miller's stuff, you know? I think he's a great guy. He's a professional wrestler, too, I heard. Not that it means anything, but of course it's worth pointing out. Because we need to point that shit out. Hell yeah! And ladies and gentlemen, we get to some news for today. On my frequent shitting all over the nitwit fascist league of losers... Because they're losers, obviously. So, ex-NFL player, a veteran, oh, of all people, a veteran, speaks out about the protests. Nate Boyer says his TV appearance to discuss the anthem protests was canceled seemingly because of a lack of tweets from President Donald John Trump. Is it because they shadow banned him too? 
Because if that's the case, then I'm glad I'm shadow banned from Twitter for life. Because they're turning into a shithole. The likes of which not even California can match. And, and it makes sense since Twitter is located in California. Right? Anyway. 2,456 of you people are reacting to this. Let's get to it now. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Veteran and former NFL player Nate Boyer says the media and fans are missing the point of the player protests. This is according to AOL.com's Kelsey Driscoll. So, kind of makes a lot of sense. Because the point of the player protests is to impeach him! Impeach Footy Bad! Jason and Ben and Trap Man! Fuck, I don't know. I mean, it's just. You, you understand, that's the whole point of the Colin Kaepernick effect. Because all these dumbass, retarded, spoiled athlete fascist players in the NFL, that's that's all they do. <laughs> Fat Tramp! Fat Tramp! <laughs> what a bunch of fucking morons. Uh, on Yahoo, Janet says... I will agree with what he says here. Working alongside law enforcement, working alongside those in office, that is how you really make change, is what Nate Boyer said. He said that if you really want to see things improving, if you really do love our country, just make sure you're doing stuff off of the field a lot. Ken, who is obviously a veteran for whatever reason he's a veteran too who isn't he says that i respectfully agree with boyer and as a veteran also believe it is disrespectful to kneel during the playing of the national anthem but in this country he has the right to do this and we as consumers and viewers also have the right and the choice of whether to continue to participate in supporting the NFL while this is going on. Yahoo Worry Wojo says, Key point. Kaepernick opted out of his contract. His decision. Now he has time, lots and lots of time, to sit and protest. Rob T. of Yahoo says, we have rights as protesters, and we have rights as consumers and fans. From Yahoo, where's the justice? Where is it? Says, the only thing that is misunderstood is that this is not the time and place to be doing this. If they have something to protest and say, they should be doing it on their own time. So if it is truly what they believe in. They have a job to the fans in the sport. This is not a political arena. Once again, if it is that important to them to do it on their own time, they're always in the news and this should not be done on the field during the anthem. Players and I turning, which none of us want. Well, at least I can agree with that. I mean, you wouldn't agree with that, obviously. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the, you know, Chuck, from Yahoo says it best. And the NFL and players don't get it. The players aren't supporting anything. It is a respect issue. To get respect, you must show respect. Kneeling when the anthem was played or any other show of disrespect is not welcome. You couldn't have said it better, Chuck. Luckily, his last name is not Schumer, so... Thank God for that. And now it's time for everyone's favorite game. We call this... And we got some of that news from... Pedo Wood. I mean Hollywood. Hollywood's foot of pedophiles, so it just makes sense. So, Denzel Washington, who's obviously a Republican in a Democratic pond of shithole molesters of children, 
has made his name in Hollywood as a star who isn't afraid to speak his mind. However, his latest gambit has industry sponsors seething. Washington caused a frenzy last week when he and Dr. Phil McGraw unveiled their new erectile dysfunction cure on his show. Because who in Hollywood doesn't want to be erectilely dysfunctional? Of course. Dr. Phil and I have done our research, spoke to specialists and industry insiders, he said, and they helped us create this product, DSN Code Black, and boy, can I tell you this stuff is potent. I've tried Viagra, I've tried Red Jensen, I've tried Cialis. DSN Code Black blows them all away. Yeah, it's because Viagra and Red Ginseng and Cialis do not work. They don't work! Not with the money! So if you're gonna cure your ED, try DSN Code Black. Because if you're in the black, that means you're making a profit. Whereas, if you're in the red and you're trying Viagra and Red Ginseng and Cialis, that can only mean one thing. You're deep in shit and you're not getting out. The product is repeatedly selling out within minutes, and Denzel Washington says his one priority as CEO is to source enough products to be able to adequately service the demand. His men's health line is 90% cheaper and five times more effective than others on the market. By the way, in, in other unrelated but similar news, I went shopping at Lowe's Foods yesterday. Or should I say it was more like Monday night? No, actually, no, it wasn't Monday night. It was actually... It was Saturday night. Let's just say that. It was Saturday night. And those those skinny, those four skinny ice cream sandwiches, four of those for six bucks, 170 calories. Meanwhile, you could get two packs of ten ice cream sandwiches from Pet in a box, two boxes of those each for four dollars. How many are each of them? A hundred and fifty calories. Liar! You skinny dipping fucks! Don't want to promote your skinny ice cream sandwiches! You're lying fucks! Liar! So I just thought I'd point that out because reasons. I need to point that out because if, if you point shit like that out in a store and you can spot the false advertisement for what it is, then it's more than likely you're doing it right. Meanwhile, back to the main story, Mel and Hatsman Titans, Cialis and Viagra, were pissed off! They were pissed! Calling for his apology and calling on studios to drop them from their projects. If those companies thought Denzel Washington was going to back down, they clearly didn't know anything that he's about. He appeared again on Dr. Phil the next day, not to resign, but to offer viewers free samples. I won't let anyone intimidate me. He fired back during his appearance. I'm so confident in the product Dr. Phil and I have created that I'm offering free samples to our viewers. DSN Code Black is the product of thousands of hours of research and development. I wouldn't talk about something on air I don't believe in and have tried myself. Denzel Washington's words, coupled with online reports of amazing results, got us here at Daily News, this is them talking, this is Daily News talking. But it got us here at Spot the Liberal about DSN Code Black, so after some research, this is what is found. DSN Code Black is right for you because it enhances sexual performance, shortens recovery time, boosts your testosterone, maximizes your sexual stamina, and naturally boosts energy. From week one, it has been proven to work. Absolutely yes. Well, that's my day! what we're talking about now. Okay. 
Now here's some way to really fuck your day. You know, you know YouTube, right? YouTube, in case you haven't figured out for the last 12 years, is a shithole. Posted by some guy who obviously deleted the comment that he made, the original post, for whatever reason. YouTube is a shithole. 99% of YouTube celebrities are a bunch of talentless, retarded, libnut fucking retards who only make low effort circle jerk and clickbait videos. Their fans are a bunch of retarded 12 year old brats. UI is terrible. You can't downvote a comment anymore because it's democratic privilege. And YouTube have a strong liberal bias. Conservative content is either demonetized or removed. Now, here's where this really gets into high gear. The YouTube celebrity culture is a cancer. I agree. I feel like Ethan from H3H3 got caught up in YouTube celebrity bullshit, which is why his videos suck now. His podcast with John John pissed me the fuck off. Going to this call, no step on the snack. Patreon backers get early access to my videos. Well, let me tell you something. I am not getting a Patreon. And I know I've said this in videos before, but people have the memory span of a goldfish, so I'm going to remind you again. I am never getting a Patreon. Because Patreon does not allow you to get everything that you raise. At least half of all the income that you generate goes directly to Rothschild and Dynasty, which is why I prefer to have a co-fi account. You know, buy me a coffee. Because I like coffee. Copy, 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 copy! Ha <laughs> Copy! I feel like the site went down the toilet for your seconds after they started letting people make money or when Google bought it. It was in 2006, 12 years ago. I would argue you two went down the toilet when Vine died and all the big Viners moved to YouTube, including the Paul brothers. Actually, the comments section. You know, let's let's talk about the comments section. Tigerphobia said in this very thread that was obviously deleted seven months ago. The YouTube comments section is the worst thing the internet has to offer. The comments section just needs to be removed. Actually, the comments section is fantastic. When it comes to calling out bullshit of big studios and media organizations, the comment sections are to put a people voice in disagreement, which is why they're often disabled. Mildly disturbing. And by the way, that was a reply to Tigerphobia by P Mime, your rare content. Obviously. Now, meanwhile, there was a post that got 29 points that was deleted that says, it's like saying television sucks, when in reality, you just don't know how to seek good movies or programs. Mildly disturbing. So, cable TV, then this looks bad. Some random guy. The stupid should not be allowed to breed. 1,500 plus channels, and some fucking hell, there's literally nothing gone! Well, whose fault is that? Television died when CNN was founded. And that wasn't too long ago. It might seem like it, but all that time goes by like clockwork, buddy. And believe you me, it goes by like clockwork. By the way, in, in, in unrelated news, Rusev Day are going to be facing the new day for the SmackDown tag titles at 
Hell in a Cell. Because every day is Rusev Day! Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was perfectly timed, that, that phone there. My smartphone is really smart. It's actually one of the few smart smartphones left. Every other smartphone is a dumb phone. I don't know. Ugh. God, what the hell have I done to this episode? It's, it's become a real cluster, fuck, hasn't it? It's become a real cluster. Ugh. This is really starting to turn into Schnickis Symphony 1 real fast, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, I just... <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, man. I don't care anymore. I stopped caring a long time ago. By the way, this episode of Baldi's Basics is brought to you by... Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Then pull the trigger and watch your life literally go up in smoke. Of course, not that it matters or anything, but you need to know the bastard truth or you need to kill yourself. Simple. It's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in part by suckers like you. Now get out, this video's over, get off of my fucking channel if you don't like what you see. But if you like what you see, then feel free to stay on as long as you want. I'm here all night. Thank you and good night. Laters. That means this video is over, so go to another one. <laughs>
This is what cops have to deal with all the time, all over the streets. A bunch of retarded Antifa fools who know nothing about what God's constitutional republic. It was never a democracy, it was a constitutional republic. This is what people refuse to understand. And that's why they end up like that sad, sorry son of a gun who had the gall to come at cops knowing good and well he would get taken down from the start and arrested. See, do you get it now? Do you get it? Because I do. I get it. A long time ago I understood the notion and it's proven to me time and time again after the fact ever since. And stuff like this, you know, as crazy as it sounds, started happening over 200 years ago when Andrew Jackson decided to defy the trust of the president, then James Madison, and commit high treason by allowing the Brits to invade American soil under the blessing of Andrew Jackson himself and burn down the original White House. Yeah. That actually happened. I'm not going to tell you why. Oh, by the way, let's look at the video again. Let's look at it again. Oh, on, that means, yeah, you bring it. I don't get that, but he's so police. So police, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go, no. No. Don't you know the best for us, man? You know better than that, dumbass. <laughs> and again. Hey, damn it! What do you mean, man? Hey? Hey, I'm a Democrat. I can do whatever I want. Don't believe me. You're gonna get down, man. Get down. Get down. Don't get down. You can't come on us like that. It's stupid. I'm telling you, man. If True TV were to revive World's Dumbest, they should include clips like this. It should be a politically themed. Constitutional Republican Tribute Series to promote the worst that society has to offer, aka the Democratic Party. Now, who wants to see that again? No? You don't want to see that again? Alright then. Get what you think. Fucker, idiot, dumbass, shithead. And Mr. Obama, sir, I don't necessarily recommend suicide to anyone, but you should go ahead and buy yourself some head-on from your local pharmacy and a shotgun and shoot yourself. So, I'm going to tell you straight up exactly what is going on. It's, what's, it's also what's been going on for the last 228 years. I'll tell you what's going on. Terrorism. Treason. Fabrication. Perjury of an unprecedented level. That, my friends... That is democracy. Now, Thomas Jefferson, being the writer of the Declaration of Independence that he was, he somehow made the brilliant idea of creating a constitutional republic. Now, he did everything right with it, right? Wrong. See, what he did wrong the only thing that he did wrong, and it was perhaps the most damning of all, was including in it a democracy in a constitutional republic that at some point, at some point in time, was eventually going to completely wipe away the republic of which 
so graciously included in, in America in this day and age. Thomas Jefferson knew that including democracy in the Constitutional Republic was bullshit, but he decided, eh, we'll just give it a chance. Boy, was he so fucking wrong. Now, a prediction by Dixon Diaz, dated September the 21st, 2018, exactly 17 years and 11 days after George W. Bush colluded with Saudi Arabia to organize the theft by Saudi Arabia of $13 trillion in Pentagon property. And that's not including the Twin Towers that they bombed the day after. Now, Dixon Diaz predicted that if Dr. Ford testifies, well, I mean, hell, it's not really a prediction, is it? It's more a spoiler. It's more a prophecy put to reality. But if Dr. Ford testifies, firstly, when she enters the room, the Democrats will give her a sustained standing ovation like she was Neil Armstrong returning from the first moon landing. Second, instead of asking your question, each Democrat will make a long speech raising her courage as though she were the combined souls of Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Susan B. Anthony, and Florence Nightingale. <coughs> I thought I was going to inhale the word number three, but that was a fail. Number three, and thirdly, the gallery will be filled to the brim with the same kind of retarded paid loonies who disrupted the hearings before, turning the hearing into the goddamn Jerry Springer show. And lastly, and fourthly of all, the testimony itself will be vague and ambiguous, but heavy with emotion, like everything else Democrats have ever said in the nearly 230 years since Thomas Jefferson included their democracy into what was supposed to have been the whole time a constitutional republic. The Common Sense Show says, it's treason! It's time to call for the arrest and prosecution of every Democratic lawmaker, including Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Adam Schiff, and dare I say it, Lindsey Graham. Because he's not a Republican. He's just a Democrat pretending to be one. And I've got nothing against the guy. God bless him. It's just he's turned to the dark side and he's not coming back. Okay. A student editor, according to Breitbart, has been fired for transphobia! <laughs> After she made a claim that women don't have penises! You're wriggling my kites! A student has been fired as assistant editor of a university journal after sharing a comment that reads, and I quote, Women don't have penises. Unless you're Caitlyn Jenner, or Wendy Williams, or Michelle Obama. Yes, women do have penises. If they were men at birth. I mean, she would have been spot on had she not noticed those facts. But, because of a controversial statement like that, of course she was fired. And I, I don't blame the university for firing her. But, yet, at the same time, you gotta give it up to her for having the balls to say something that every one of us have been thinking the whole time. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Judicial Watch says, in a distressing case out of California, an Ethiopian terrorist named Mohammed Abderrahman Osman 
was granted refugee status, shocker, by the Obama administration, was revealed to be a terrorist with connections to Al-Shabaab, who lied to the United States government about his identity. Dan Von Nino. If I were Brett Kavanaugh, I'd be preparing to sue the living shit out of every liberal talking head, pundit, vlogger, and media loon who ever accused him of being a rapist without either a law enforcement report or any evidence of any kind. Hashtag new rules. I say we should do that, right? Amendment 28. Do it now! Case in point, Christine Ford. I will not testify in a car. I will not testify near a bar. I will not testify in a train. I will not fly in a plane. I will not testify here or there. I will not testify anywhere. I will not testify first or last. I will not testify slow or fast. There is nothing for me more to say. I can't remember anyway. Lies. LIES! Meanwhile, Obama sent the terrorists a shit ton of money, but you know what Trump sent them? You know what Trump sent them? Nukes? Bombs? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, but only if you have enough BALLS! Which reminds me of a post that I made on my Twitter before I was suspended under my Scully KTA moniker. Do you remember a few months back, people? By the way, this was when I was Scully KTA when I made the post. But do you remember a few months back when I was Scully KTA when I called Mitch McConnell Bitch McConnell? Well, if he isn't, res- well, I'll tell you what. If he is. If he and his Republican constituents don't vote to confirm Kavanaugh, then my theory of McConnell being a nutless collie dog will have been proven right all along. That includes you, Chuck Grassley. Oh, by the way, shocker, Hillary Clinton without makeup is actually George Soros! (laughs) Shocker, right? Okay, time to get yourselves back to reality. Right? Oh, by the way, it's time for everybody's favorite word game! Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Shankity Shank, and you know how this works. It's obviously under the guise of another game called Wordplay! Right? Okay. Let's go over the facts that we've learned over the four seasons of Spot the Liberal. You can't spell Schumer without cum. You can't spell Bill Clinton without clit. You can't spell Barack Obama without cock, nor Kamala Harris without hair. You can't spell George Herbert Walker Bush minus Blart or Stalk, or Dick Durbin without Dickburn. What's Mark Zuckerberg if he's not a muck? What's Reed Hastings if he isn't full of shit? SHIT! Isn't Diane Feinstein a nest for NAFTA? Isn't Pro Francis entire life nothing but crap? How did Pat Sajak turn into a Jap overnight? Learning more about Pat Buller being drab? Jeff Blake without fake? Conan without con? John Sidney McCain without disdain? Tim Kaine without aim? Donna Brazil without nil? Debbie Washerman Schultz without Erwin Schultz, who is also her spiritual ancestor. Joy Behar without a job? Whoopi Goldberg not taking a poo? Tom Cruise without a ruse? My god, man! <laughs> okay, can you spell Wolf Blitzkrieg minus grief? Can you write Rachel Maddow without Mad Cow? Can you say Joe Scarborough sans ho? Is there no tar in Jimmy Carter? Is Lester Holt not a loser? You loser! Is 
Is there no lag in Lady Gaga, nor any rape in Katy Perry? And did Jack Dorsey not say yes to Satan when he was having sex with him in his bed last night? Tell me, is there any sin in Osama Bin Laden? Does Jim Carrey want to marry? And didn't Robin Williams pay many bills to stop the rain? Isn't Rosie O'Donnell a lob who does nothing but sob? Why is Nancy Pelosi kicking cans down a road that isn't fucking there? By the way, Ulysses Grant was an ass. Did you know that Gordon Ramsay made a damn good game named after the TV show of the same name. Why was Shirley Temple Black a victim of Hollywood's sperm? Why did Kurt Cobain sing in the rain? Why didn't Fred Rogers fall to greed in the fog of a lightning rod? Was it because he was an actual Christian who didn't hide behind his religion? Probably. And just who created Dan Schneider's Nats? Because you know, in every one of his shows that he made, it says, and I quote, Created by Dan Schneider. Also, how did John Podesta become a jest who does dope? Did he sleep with Louis Farrakhan's son? Was he getting it on with Austin Goolsby's beanbag? Perhaps he ate too much of Sadiq Khan Jello sand. Well, whatever it is, he's certainly been up Merrill Street's YEEE! Regardless, we know where Lenny Davis gets his land from, and we all know how Stormy Daniels made a stand. We can see Harry Reid getting head from Rothschild's dairy, too. We can also sense Cory Booker sunning Saudi cock in Iran being the cook that he is, and the crook that he's always been. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Portugal, in Portugal, Madonna's saying, DAMN! That's, that's a Ron Simmons reference, by the way. So, in Germany, Angela Merkel is a chicken without a gland, when Adolf Hitler wasn't a very fit lad and constantly saw red. Joseph Goebbels thought the whole human race was a big blob. Meanwhile, Colin Kaepernick married a pet rock named Paco, and Christian Rivera got a thin rash. A very thin rash. Moving back home, Fidel Castro has influenced many lads, thus rendering Teddy Roosevelt a complete and utter fool, but his boy Franklin Delano was laden with a plastic fork, while J. Robert Oppenheimer found a way to mire the Pope, leaving Benedict Arnold to die in a can. So, while Bush Hartman got to tan his bum while taking a bath, the legend of Nell Blank can be seen in any cooked lamb. No longer do we live in days where Judy Garland was grand, as time has erased all of Roger Goodell's lore, and every Leonard Bernstein has a sword. David Hogg has a dog who claims to be God, but like James Levine, he leads into the infernal abyss. His fate is below the sea, like Samantha B. His dim path Chosen by William Tweed's meat with salami and pea. And now he's but a running gag, like Dwayne Rocky Johnson. Need I say more? Well, technically, I can't say enough. Right? I mean, you tell me. Shit, man. Okay. So Megan Kelly went to a gym that sells many meat products. Her partner in crime, Adam Ship, is a mad fish in a dash for cash, who asks this buddy, John Cornyn, if he's horny, and he says, nah, 
I'm too busy masturbating to a boy named Little Bill Cosby. Adam dies. She then asked Tim Tebow why she bet on an NFL bankruptcy, to which he says, Because Bill Belichick likes to lick and kill little girls. So he calls Kathy Griffin up to set up a yip session in Iran. Notice the furry reference. But when they arrived, Adel al Jublir laid them out and chopped her rib. Vladimir Putin got a text mid rap on Griffin's death on tap, to which he tripped. Well, I think we're both blue and little boy blue. That son of a bitch. Then Megan's confronted by Trey Gowdy, who looked very rowdy, and ordered an arrest thanks to Abe Shinzo, who, by the way, is a very, very good fiend. Sheriff David Israel heard of this, the dead aide to Islam that he was, who ordered a woman named Ramirez to mire our republic. She then got caught by Brett Kavanaugh and taught a very damning lesson, and then in came Mitt Romney, the mommy, who lost in 2012 to a peeping Tommy. He slept in bed with Maisie Hirono, who shamelessly faggotry personified and a homo, on Valerie Jarrett's favorite holiday, first of May Day, in her river lair. A man named Daddy of Five dove in to make the rape a threesome, but in came nasty Tyra Banks with a big-ass rank to stab them all with crumbs. Robert De Niro heard the screams and bent on dire-rooted hate chased her with Guy Fieri's Fig Newtons down the stairs to rig a gym. But down the ghetto, Joe Kennedy tried to tell a Joy Behar joke only to get ran down by Randy Crane's infallible verbal day ray. And now concludes another really huge round of the game of poetic justice and unsettling truths guaranteed to piss any retarded leftist thing mad off and drive any democratic shill to intellectual suicide. From the Skull Media Studio in your wildest dreams, it's your favorite game, Wordplay! Good night, everybody. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, ho, 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 here we go, here we go, shit's gonna hit the fan, okay, 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 here we go. In her initial conversations with the New Yorker, she was reluctant to characterize Kavanaugh's role in the alleged incident with certainty because... Oh my god, I'm shocked! She had been drinking at the time of the alleged incident, which, by the way, never happened. Ramirez said that she felt confident enough of her recollections to say that she remembers Kavanaugh having exposed himself at a drunken dormitory party, thrust his consensual penis touch it without her consent as she pushed him away. Ramirez is now fraudulently calling for the FBI when she knows it to be bullshit to investigate Kavanaugh's role in the incident. I would think an FBI investigation would be warranted, she said. At the United Nations, unrepentant Trump sets out to rattle foes and friends alike. According to the Bridgewater, New Jersey Associated Press article, President Donald John Trump, the greatest president to ever live, and he's only been president for 18 or 19 months, is poised to redouble his commitment to America first 
on the most global of stages this week. Meanwhile, it took six days for Ramirez to confirm her own story, which she knows to be bullshit. Ronan Farrow admits that he could not find any eyewitnesses to corroborate the fact, or rather, the fraudulent fiction that Kavanaugh was at the party. People at the party say that this happened, but were silent for 36 years, according to the faggot we call Roman Farrell. Breaking news, motherfucker! Breaking news! Dr. Christian Blase Ford. By the way, you, you, think he might, you think she might have forged her degree? You think she might have been a man at birth like Michelle Obama was, like Wendy Williams, like the former Bruce Jenner turned Caitlyn? She has a dirty little secret. Her parents and the Holton Arms all-girl prep school have quite a few dirty secrets as well. They're part of a pedophilia ring! They're molesters! They rape little boys and girls! Meanwhile, the creepy faggot dumbass porn named Michael Avenatti says that he represents women with critical information! What happened to Stormy Daniels, huh? Did she prevent any credible information to your penis? He claims that he is now representing a woman with critical information regarding Judge Kavanaugh and Mark Judge. So let me guess. Another woman Nazi soldier colluded with Bale University or Retard University or some other poison Ivy League school like the University of Illinois a.k.a. the School of Hard Cops Good reminder, this episode to of forge your degree? Sponsored by what are the Lowe odds of that? Less than winning Lotto? Uh -uh. Not true. Most it's actually more likely to be born without it. Which, if I'm not mistaken, has now risen Peter to more than shit. one in It's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public well, I mean, Broadcasting, well which is paid for by suckers like you. Monsanto. It was all a favor. If you don't okay. like what you see, turn the, the Washington Bullshit Swamp Post reports that Christine Blase Ford was so resolute on avoiding confronting her troubling recollections about Brett Kavanaugh, she considered leaving the country if he was nominated. Well, why the hell haven't you moved to Iran yet? Andrew Kaczynski... You're a genius. I love you, man. Rising Serpent says, A lawyer who makes all the lawyers appear be typical in comparison, so she represents a woman. Well, I, well help. Didn't I just say it earlier? Avernani's invingling parasitism is being put to good use by the Democrats. Oh, you're damn tootin' it is. Adam Levin, at Adam K. Levin, with underscores in between A, K, and L. Students beware! Fraudsters are tricking students and demanding they pay a federal student tax. Learn more by going to his website. See, the Times had interviewed, oh by the way, the New York Failing Times, the New York Slimes, I should say, the New York Slimes had interviewed several dozen people over the past week, you, you'd think it'd be over the past day, but no, they had to stretch it out a week, in an attempt to corroborate her story, and could find no one with first-hand knowledge because everyone that they interviewed could see through their fucking bullshit.
because they're fucking assholes! Miss Ramirez herself contacted former Bale University classmates asking if they recalled the incident and told some of them that they could not be certain Mr. Cavanaugh was the one who exposed the assault. No, he wasn't the one that exposed the assault 36 years ago. You were! Okay. Molly Prince. DCNF. Also known as a Democratic cock sucking nigger fuckwit. And yes, I just say that because comedic reasons. And I just said that too, didn't I? I just said it. I can't take it back, so I said it. No regrets. Sorry, not sorry. Molly Prince, DCNF, the woman accusing the judge, Brett Kavanaugh, of attempting to sexually assault her over 35 years ago, reportedly threatened to leave the country if Brett Kavanaugh was converted to the Supreme Court. Well, there's a bastard going around, bitch! By the way, do you know what every female Democratic politician and Megyn Kelly, and Rachel Maddow, and every female journalist at CNN, and MSNBC, and CBS, and Molly Prince, and Dr. Christine Blase Ford, and Miss Ramirez, do you know what they all have in common? Well, I'm not going to tell you, because in reality, Take it away, Alex Jones. They are complete, pathetic faggots! Damn, bro, you took the words right out of my cock. Okay, well, that's gonna do it, right? I hear it for fuck fucking morning, this shit! Okay. Spock the Liberal has been brought to you by the upcoming Skull Media Shock documentary, Hollywood Shit Hole. Land of pedophiles. Because everyone in Hollywood that's a celebrity that voted Democrat is a fag act. It's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. I guess they should rename it the Communist Regime of Pubic Brainwashing, which might as well be what they are, which is paid for by suckers like you. You! You! Don't, don't, don't fuck off. Remember, if you want my permission to download this video, message me on any of my social media channels and ask for it, and I'll give you my IK. And above all else, don't be a jackass. Please, be real. Don't steal.